When I started out, I would have said the most serious impact is fishing. But more recently, I would say the greater issue has become climate change because it's the entire planet and uh, it acts in concert with other pressures, including fishing and pollution and uh, plastics and all those other problems that we face in the ocean. And the cumulative effects really are really quite worrisome. And so we are seeing major changes even over the last 10 years. What you see on the top there is clear cutting on land. We know that's a big problem. If we cut down all the forests, that creates a whole variety of issues for humans. But when we do bad things in the oceans, it doesn't necessarily look obvious that anything has happened because we see the surface. We don't see what's going on beneath. And so trying to understand and appreciate these changes, I think it's hugely important. It's such a pervasive problem. It's all around the world, a whole variety of issues. And so everybody needs to chip in and do what they can. So it's thinking every day about what you do and the impacts of what you do, what it may mean for life further down the road. So at home, for example, you can try and use less plastic. If you're using plastic, try and recycle it so it doesn't end up in the ocean. I think spreading the word is something that's really important. Talk to your friends, tell them what you've heard. You could write a letter to your local paper and say the oceans are important. You could write a letter to your member of parliament and tell them that you care about the oceans and that you want to see uh, greater sustainability efforts in Canada and around the world, and that you're going to do your bit to try and make sure that the oceans are sustainable for future generations.